welcome back to my channel. As you see, and as you just had a little mini tour of my office, I'm in a new location. Even though we just got our apartment redone, as you saw in a previous video, if you didn't, we will make sure we drop that down below in the description. My husband and I also bought a house last year near the end of the year, so we are officially bi-coastal. We have an apartment in New York and a house now in Las Vegas, and this has been a dream of mine for as long as I can remember to be by coastal. A um, couple reasons why we decided to uh, buy this house and move for the time being, we're gonna split our time here in New York, is one, my husband's a professional poker player, which is a fun fact. Two, my dad lives here and as he gets older, we just wanna be around and help him as much as we can, especially because of COVID, he's been just so alone. And then three, taxes. Our business is officially going to be a Nevada business, which we're really excited about, which will definitely help. Uh, New York is not cheap, so we're excited about that. And I'm really excited to just film some more videos for you from this awesome location. As you just saw the little sneak peek of the office, I adore the space and it just feels, it feels very creative. You can in any way set up your space, no matter what it is, whether it's a candle, whether it's a plant, all my plants are fake by the way, no matter what it is, just something that gives you that creative juice and a place that you feel comfortable filming too. Video is where it is at right now. So make sure you set your space up as much as you can. Um, this was pretty minimal and we had a really great friend help us and I'll drop her details below and definitely link to another longer video that will be a little house tour when we get that set up but she did an incredible job and really helped us out but it was pretty simple in the office nothing too involved but enough that i just feel really excited so in this video we're going to talk a little bit about something that i'm going to share with you out on the patio so today we are talking all about developing your unique coaching method. This is something I cannot wait to share with you over the next few videos and really throughout this year. So what is your unique coaching method? I'm going to share that with you as well as why you should even care about it. I think give you a little sneak peek of the four types of coaches that you might fall under when you, when you approach your unique coaching method. So first, what is the unique coaching method? So essentially, your unique coaching method is your unique way of coaching your clients. It's that simple. It really is the lens at which or the approach at which you're taking your coaching, right? Because you could have four business coaches that approach their business entirely differently. When someone comes into their coaching container, and let's just say, for example, one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, container client, those four coaches are going to coach their that client so differently. And so there's a couple of reasons why it's really important to get clear on what your unique method is. All right, so reason number one, and I think this is probably the most important reason, is you want to be able to attract clients that are not just anyone, but they're really, really soulmate clients. What I mean by that is when they come into your coaching container, they know what to expect. They know how the coaching is going to go. They know the methodologies at which you're going to use to coach them, and they're open to that. You've probably experienced this, but if you have a client who's really resistant to how you coach, it's going to be really hard. They're not going to trust the process. You're going to really, really struggle coaching them. You're going to have to like convince them that this is the way to go, right? So when you get clear on your method and you communicate that effectively, you don't just attract any client. You attract clients who you freaking love working with. And this is how I've been running my business the entire time. This is why I have many, many, many repeat clients, many, many referrals is I don't take someone just because they can pay me. I take someone on as a client because they understand my approach and that's what they need specifically. So that is reason number one. Reason number two is a little more strategic. It's to stand out. It's to stand out in your industry. It's not enough just to have an I help statement on your Instagram bio or a specific specialty that you do anymore because guess what? A lot of people have a very similar I help statement, right? Again, I'm gonna use that example. You can be a business coach and say, I help new coaches scale their business to their first 10K month. I can't tell you how many other coaches have that same Instagram bio. So how how do you do it differently? How is your approach different from that person who has a very similar title, if you will, right? Business coach and a very similar I help statement or Instagram bio or way in which they say they help people. So that is huge. Standing out in the online space right now, especially if you're an online coach is so important. It is not a saturated industry. It is only saturated if you don't do this, right? So unique coaching is kind of taking, defining your unique method is taking that niching down 
to a whole new level. And it's really the kind of the, again, the approach and how you coach and the feeling that someone has when they're in your container, it is different than someone else who has a very, very similar eye help statement or a similar title. And it's going to be a different experience. And if you're not communicating how that's going to be different, that's where you're going to blend in with the crowd. So this is such an incredible way for you to stand out in your industry and actually become that go-to coach for your prospective client. And then reason number three, which I know I said the others are my favorites, but I think this is the most important long-term is when you get really clear on your unique method, you stop comparing yourself. I cannot tell you how many times I have had clients and even myself at moments, for sure, I am not immune to this, really stunt their growth in their business, really just hit this block or stay in this stuck place because they are trying to become carbon copies of what they see other successful people in their industry doing. And if you try to do exactly what someone else does in your industry, guess what? It's not going to be exactly the same turnout because you're different and that's what makes you unique and that's what makes you special and that's what makes you sellable. It's also your unique selling point, not just your unique coaching method. And so when you get so, so confident in how you're different and you own that and you really kind of reframe that difference from being a bad thing to a great thing, then you stop comparing because guess what? There's no competition. There is zero competition when you are really strong in your unique method because no one is like you. And I can't stress this enough. This is something that's really, really stops so many people from having the success they want in their business is they spend a lot of time and a lot of time and a lot of times watching what everyone else is doing and trying to become carbon copies. When you get clear on your unique method, you will not be doing that. You will not be a carbon copy. You will create content that really, really speaks to that ideal client. And that speaks to them in a way that makes them go, wow, I've never seen it done like that. That person's top of mind. And you're going to be top of mind when they are ready to invest in whatever kind of transformation you help people with. Preview. Preview. So over the next few videos, I'm going to really, really be diving into this so you can get clear on what your unique method is and how you can start communicating that effectively. When you get clear on this, not only does this really help you stand on in your industry, it also depicts your product suite, AKA what you offer to people, your customer journey, because again, how you're going to approach your coaching is going to be very different than someone else, which means your product suite needs to be different than other people. It's also going to affect your launch plan because of your product suite. It's also going to affect your content plan. And that is something I'm really, really excited to dive in with you about because I absolutely love, love, love helping people, including myself, create content that really stands out. That's unique, that entertains and doesn't just inform. And the first step to really getting clear on what your unique method is. I have a three part framework I'm going to be sharing with you over again, the next like many, many videos. But the first step is figuring out which of the four types of coaches that you identify as. And again, this is not what you label yourself as, as a coach, for example, fitness, business, health, wellness, life, relationship, dating, um, you name it, there's so many different types of coaches. It's not how you help people, it's the approach at which you take it. So example, there are four different types of coaches I'm gonna share with you in the coming slides right here, or slides, whatever it is on YouTube, I'm still getting the hang of this. There's four different types, strategic, mindset, spiritual, and then aspirational, which I also refer to as like lifestyle or influencer type coach. That doesn't mean that you are a lifestyle coach or a mindset coach or a strategy coach. You could be a life coach who has a very strategic approach. You could be a business coach who has a very spiritual approach. So I'm going to share a little quick clip of what is an example of each type of coach with a little voiceover for you. And we're going to really dive into each one over the next few videos so you can decide, hmm, which one do I think I fall under? And am I really communicating that? You probably aren't as much as you need to. That's what I found when I've been talking about this over the last few months. So I'm really excited to help you get clear on your unique method, stand out from all the other entrepreneurs in your industry, stop comparing yourself, and most importantly, work with soulmate clients, not just anyone. Be strategic approach. You help your clients achieve results based on research, which is why they respect you and refer to you as the go-to coach for your services. The mindset approach. You recognize that your mindset is key to attracting the right opportunities to achieve your desired results. And you help clients solve problems first by looking at what thought patterns got them to this point. The lifestyle approach. You leverage your personality by being you and magnetically attract your clients. You help them solve problems first by how much they're embodying what they're trying to achieve. And the spiritual approach. You operate from your inner guidance and share your spiritual practices unapologetically. 
So you just got a little sneak peek into the four types of coaches that encompass the unique coaching method, which is the first step in the first part of the framework that I teach to develop your unique coaching method. This is something I'm going to take you along for the ride with, and we actually are releasing a quiz in a few weeks that's going to help you determine which type of coach you fall under. Again, this is more how you approach your business. This is not how you identify yourself as an online entrepreneur. You could be a business coach with a mindset perspective, a business coach with a spiritual perspective, a business coach with an influencer perspective or lifestyle aspirational perspective. It's the lens at which you are looking at your coaching and how you actually coach your clients when they are in your coaching container. So I'm really, really excited to help you start to get more clear on this. Stay tuned for our awesome quiz that's about to happen. And I hope you enjoyed my little rendition of the four different types of coaches. I'd love to know what are the top two types you feel you fall under? We all probably identify with all four at some point in our business and in our clients, depending who we're coaching. But from the work I've done with hundreds of clients and myself, every single person I have coached and myself, we all have an inkling towards one the most. So I am curious which one, just out of this little sneak peek, again, you'll be getting many more in-depth videos about these four types. Which one do you feel you most fall under when it comes to how you approach your coaching? Drop it in the comments. Stay tuned for the quiz. It's gonna help you get even more clear so you can start identifying your unique method. Stand out in your industry. Stop comparing yourself and really attract those soulmate clients. Excited to share more with you over the coming weeks. Have an amazing, amazing day.